Normally for grass, I use um, kelp and olive. Olive first and then kelp. For this grass, we are going to just use olive. We'll just use one. We'll use the slightly lighter of the two. So first thing I'm going to do is lay a nice heavy base and because when I color my light source is always coming from the right hand side I always go a little bit further to the left than I do on the right but because she has a dress on now it also depends on what you're coloring because she has a dress on you know if you go a little bit over to the right no big deal because it would be covered uh, you know in the shade ideally if you were tr trying to be real precise okay so a lot of people have noticed that my grass technique has changed mm -hmm. and it has I think I, I, I've made it actually easier and I use this base that I'm laying down right here as, as my grass and the little flecks of the um, grass blades itself will just be a highlight so the basic shape that I make is almost like a reverse it's an arch kind of like eyelashes I used to you know that's a bit creepy the eyelashes so it's soft do now. more like this yeah it's I used to do more like little clumps and you know you can make one kind of come way out depending if they're in a little forest or you know if you got the fairies and you want to have them out in the grass in a meadow oh, that sounds so nice. but <laughs> now I've kind of gone to this I like meadows this little fairies. eyelashy clump that which is a little good. finer quiet which is a little bit finer so if you get a nice little point and always you want to if you're doing either grass make sure you you're pressing down see this is why I showed you on the reverse side because you're not going to see it as much on here but you've got a nice point and you're just kind of pressing down and you can go in front of your feet oh, you make, don't do the long anymore? make sure your feet are already colored hmm. sometimes I break the shading And that's the grass I've been doing lately. So it's a lot more subtle. Yeah, it is It is more subtle. Now I can show you. Let's pretend this little bunny. So we'll do olive green first. Let's pretend this little bunny, and I won't color in front of him because he's not colored yet. Let's pretend he's sitting in a nice meadow. I'm going to use the olive and then the kelp. But same thing, just a little circle. Sometimes they can be sitting in a mound. They look like they're sitting on a little hill. Well, here we go with the stories again, the fairy tales. <laughs> Up on a mound was a lonely bunny. I'm not gonna sing. Oh, the lady, oh, the lady, oh, the lady. I knew that would come. All right. And I don't want it to be straight across the bottom. I'm just trying to break this up a little. And you can use, this is the one time when you're doing your shading like this, that you can add more Gamsol and be slightly more generous with it. And then to do your shading, the kelp is just slightly darker. So I'm gonna keep it to the left of his foot on both of his paws and then you don't re-dip don't add more Gamsol and lighten up your touch a little because you don't want it to blend all in you want it to look like you have two shades of green here she's so good and then I'm going to use this time 
the kelp green. You can use both, but I'm just going to use the one. And this is the old style grass that I used to do in my younger days. <laughs> See, I'm just trying not to color in front of him too much. And it's just making little clumps. You can do little ends so it looks like he's sitting out in a unmowed meadow.